Now that we've had some practice with if-else statements, let's go ahead and try an exercise on your own. Uh, first off, create a new spreadsheet and enter the script editor. You can create some test data in your spreadsheet if you like. You probably can use it, you know, just to, to build out these different functions, but it's up to you how you want to test them. The first function you should create is something called starts with p. This function should just take one parameter, and it should return true if the parameter is a string that starts with the letter p. If it's not, a, if it doesn't start with letter p, then just return false. Uh, note that you'll probably need to either use the care at method or the starts with method for the string for this function. So think about how you might want to do that. How can we tell if something starts with p, and how can we evaluate that? Uh, if you think through those, and you think that you can use the care at method, probably using the first character, which would be zero, or the starts with method, you can probably figure that one out pretty easily next function is something called is passing. Basically this function should take one parameter and that no parameter will be a number. This function should return true if the number is greater than or equal to 60. So think about how you might evaluate the parameter and think about what you might want to return here and, if you're, and how you can evaluate if it's greater than or equal to 60. The last function is related to the, the previous one. Uh, this function should just take one parameter that is a number. It's going to be called get letter grade. And we're going to kind of translate a number to a, a value here. So uh, for this first one, NA for values greater than 100 and less than 0, because we want to only look at valid letter grades. If there's an error, we want to know about that. Uh, if the value is greater than or equal to 90, A. Uh, if it's greater than or equal to 80, but not an A, it's a B and so on, C, D, and F. You know, F for anything that is uh, basically greater than, greater than or equal to zero all the way up to 60 here. So try these out. You know, they should give you some good practice in thinking through how you might solve these problems. Uh, I hope it works out, and I hope that you learned something from the exercises. Thanks for watching.